Okay, I'm going to show you how to create a um, form to keep track of which student has which device. And this is really great to use because, of course, when they're on a device, they can easily access a digital form, and then you don't have to worry about making copies of the checkout sheet or anything like that. So here's what I would do if I were doing this in my classroom. I would go to Create. I would choose Form. I'm going to name the form. Uh, something like um, student equipment checkout and I'm going to pick a some sort of a format for that and it doesn't have to be beautiful whatever and I'm going to make the first question be um, your first name and I'm going to make that a text question so they have to type in text it's required done I'm going to add another text question. I'm going to say, what is your last name? And that's required also. And then I'm going to add another text item and say, which device number do you have today? And make that also required. OK. Up here at the top, we're not going to automatically collect this. You could, and then you wouldn't have to ask their name, but that will require that they sign into their Google account, which that could be take even longer, and we're trying to speed up this process. So, um, in fact, you don't even have to log them in to see this form. That's fine. That's probably best. It's going to be your fastest option. Okay. Next, we want to choose the response destination. We're going to have it go to a new spreadsheet. Okay, let's do create, because now in Google Forms, your actual form and your responses are in two different locations. So this is the, um, this is where we're editing the form. I'm going to go to view the live form, and this is what the students will see when they um, have to fill this out. So here's the URL that I need to give the students. There's two things I'm going to do with this to make this easy on my kids. First of all, I'm going to make this into a QR code. And so I'm going to go find a QR code creator. I'm just going to go QR code creator. Let's Google that. And you know what? There's a zillion of these, and they're all super easy to use. We just have to actually get it to come up. The other thing I'm going to do while I'm waiting on that is I'm going to go to bit.ly which is a URL shortener. And that just makes um, a short URL out of a long URL. Um, and I have an account on Bitly, which means that I can paste a link in. You'll see I'm logged in already here. And it changes that big, ugly URL to this little tiny one. And because I have an account on Bitly, I'm able to click the little pencil and customize this. I can even say Bitly equipment. Um, actually, that probably won't work because there's probably a lot of that going around. Let's do bit.ly Hampton-equip. Okay, and we'll see if that does it. And I'm going to hit return. And yep, it does like it. So let's see if my QR code creator came up. Okay, I'm going to go find whatever QR code. This is just whatever's first. And static is fine. I'm going to paste my URL right here. That's the URL to my form. And I hit generate. And there's my QR code. So what I would do is I would make a Word document. Let's see, I could do copy image. I'm going to open a, a Word document on my computer, which I don't even know where that button is right now. But um, I would make a Word document. I would copy and paste that on there and I would also put this short URL on that document and I would post that at the front of the room and then as the students check out a device they can scan the QR code if they have an iPod or an iTouch which will take them to um, the form and they can fill out the form then digitally right on their device super fast or if they have a laptop they could just type in bit.ly slash Hampton dash equip in their browser and that will also take them to the form and they can 
basically register that they have that device today and that would make a very quick and easy way for them to sign out their equipment throughout the day. So I hope that that works for you and that is helpful, but if it doesn't and that's a little too confusing, um, you're welcome to either come and see me and have me help you through this process or um, just go to paper and that's fine too. As long as you know which kid has which piece of equipment, I'm cool. Have a great day.